OI Jamaya, with its 500 employees, is the business Denise Moraguchi's grandfather started 90 years ago. Today, she's the CEO and she's speaking out saying Seattle's head tax would hurt. We would have to look at raising prices and also maybe cutting back on some other employee perks. That's why she's happy to hear city council is considering a repeal of the tax. I was pleased. I feel that, okay, the Seattle City Council, they are listening to the, the people. But at the Low Income Housing Institute, there's disappointment. Because we think that we have one of the worst housing and homelessness crisis in the entire country and everybody has to pitch in. Sharon Lee, the executive director, liked the fact that the head tax required Seattle's largest employers, companies making at least $20 million per year, to pay a $275 per employee tax, money that would go toward homeless services and housing units. This list includes 2,500 units that could be built. But she says there is not enough funding. For the last three years, Lee has worked with the city to build villages for the homeless, a temporary stop with the goal of going from tiny houses to affordable apartments. We don't want tiny houses or a shelter or car to be a dead end. Back at this business, Morgucci says she sees the problem too and wants real solutions. We want to make sure that the money being spent is being spent wisely, there's accountability. Lee says there's no time to waste, calling homelessness a crisis that's only getting worse. We're going to have more people living in RVs, more people living on the street, and that's a direct impact on tourism, trade, businesses. Despite that warning, there's been a grassroots effort that's collected thousands of signatures to repeal Seattle's head tax, a proposal now looking very possible. The people have spoken. It's not just businesses saying we don't want the head tax. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. Now, Sharon Lee with the Low Income Housing Institute also wants to see King County doing more. Specifically, she says instead of the county executive proposing to spend $180 million in public funds for ballpark improvements for the Mariners, that money should be spent on affordable, affordable housing for people. Messages to the county executive's office were not immediately returned.